Hi, this is Warren Vache of warrenvache.com, trumpet player here in New York City and author of the DVD, I Love the Trumpet. In this clip, we're going to show you the different parts of a trumpet. First, let's start here. This is called a mouthpiece. It fits into the lead pipe, and it's the part that you put against your lip where you blow. This fits into the mouthpiece receiver. Standard enough. This is called the lead pipe. This thing that runs all the way around into the valves is the lead pipe. Somewhere on the lead pipe, pretty generally, you are going to find a tuning slide. This is the master tuning slide for the entire instrument. Now, the lead pipe leads into the valves. We have three valves. They're, they're the numbered one, two, and three, close to you and away. One, two, three. These valves, when pushed down, We'll let the air flow through yet another slide. This is the first valve, and this is the first valve slide. I have a hook on it, which allows me to adjust the intonation on the first valve, just the way the tuning slide adjusts the intonation on the entire horn. Then we go to the second valve, and there's the tuning slide, the slide for that. And the third valve slide generally has its own, its own slide, and that will adjust quite easily because the third valve is where you have to make most of the adjustments. Also, generally on the third valve slide and somewhere on the lead pipe you will find what is euphemistically called a water key. You tend to spit into a trumpet when you play it and this allows the moisture to come out because it will gurgle otherwise. When it goes through the valves and the valve slides, it goes back through this end and comes through what is known as the bell. Bell has a couple of parts. This is the bell proper, this is the bell throat, and the bell rim. All of these parts of the trumpet function together to make a wonderful musical sound. Once again, this has been Warren Vache. Thank you for watching.